Hello everyone! Today's video is kind of a trial to see if I can make an easy mold for making cake slices. So first of all I rolled out a piece of rest clay into a nice size or thickness. And I'm cutting it out in 8 slices. Then I am just measuring 3 of them to make sure they have the same size, because I need only 3 of these. I found the three pieces that I wanted, and in one of these slices of cake I am using a dotting tool on both sides of the cake and on the back side. This is actually not needed, but I'm doing it all the way around. On the second one I am using a uh, needle tool. This one has two needles on it, and I'm scratching up all the sides here of the cake. And the last one I am just going to leave just like it is. I am using a two component mold putty and this one is silicone. So I took one piece from one color and one piece from the other color, equal side, and I mixed them really really good together. I skipped the long mixing time here. And I placed this mold putty really really good over the two pieces that I uh, changed the edge on, so the one I used the dotting tools on and the one I used the needle tool. And let that harden before you take the cake pieces out of this one. I found these thermoplastic strips on AliExpress and I'm pretty sure if you look for that thermoplastic strip you will be able to find that. You dump them into really really hot boiling water, so careful with your fingers. And then after a minute or two you can kind of mold it and if it's soft enough you can actually make a mold of something. And this is translucent, so I can use it for resin and it will harden in there because it's translucent. So I'm trying this one out. And then you should be able to take this plaster or uh, things afterwards and then just heat it up again and mold it into something else so you can use it and reuse it as many times you want to. So I shaped that around the cake part that was not textured in any kinds of way and here we have both the molds all done. Then I am taking some brown colored clay uh, so I can make a chocolate cake and I am stuffing that into the mold that uh, I have the piece of cake that I scratched with the needle tool in and I'm actually doing two of these. In the other part here we had the cake that was uh, shaped with a dotting tool on the side and I'm just using some orange cane leftovers uh, and popping that in there and making sure there's nothing sticking over the mold so it's all flush and flat just like this and then I'm just carefully lifting the two pieces of the mold up out of the mold just carefully like this and I want this orange piece to be in between two layers of brown. So as I said before, I am making another brown of the piece that was scratched with the needle tool.
In the thermoplast mold, I am going to take some orange slices here and I'm just cutting them into smaller pieces. Uh, I want to make kind of a topping on the cake with this, so I'm cutting a lot of these small pieces for it. Then I am taking my UV resin, putting a tiny bit of that into the mold. I am scraping or shaving a tiny bit of my soft pastel in an orange shape in there to uh, color the resin. So I'm mixing it really really good to make this all orange. And then I'm just popping in all these small slices of orange in there and making sure everything is flush in the mold. Now my cake is baked, actually I made two of them, and I can take this little resin piece out of the mold and that worked really really great. So now I'm just cleaning the edges of this little resin piece here. I'm using a tiny bit of super glue to glue on this resin layer on top of the cake. So I'm just placing that and then I am clamping it and whoops, that just kind of shut all over. Oh well, I'm just doing it again. And I'm leaving it in the clamp until it is all hardened. I'm doing that with both of my cakes. Then I am taking a tiny bit of double sided tape and placing that on this little wood stick. I am using that as a handle for when I do the details. I place one of the cakes and find my t dessert topping master. This is a orange sauce and I'm popping that on the sides of the cake and I'm just gonna fix that so that it's just only where I have this middle layer because this will look kind of like an orange sauce coming out there. Taking the other cake and making one of the sides here again with the orange sauce then I am placing that on the tool as well and doing the other side with orange sauce just like that. Leave that to dry for a bit before you continue working on it well, actually, I did use my Fimo liquid la uh, glaze here, and I glazed this top layer of uh, resin to make it really, really shiny before I continued. Leave that to dry. Then I am taking this topping dessert master chocolate. This is kind of like a white cream, and I have this nice... Um, edge or what you call that on the end of the tube so I can make this back side of the cake look really really nice. I'm doing this on both of my cakes. Then I am having some more orange slices and I'm going to take one of those and just cut that in half to decorate each of these small cake with and I also have some chocolate decorations I made. I will link a video for that in the info box below. Then I'm just putting a little dollop of this chocolate um, cream on top of there. And I'm decorating with everything I have in this little dollop. Placing the oranges, taking a tiny piece of this round shaped thing. Oops. And um, I yeeted that somewhere in the room. I still haven't found it yet, but I'm looking for it. So I had to take another one and uh, you won't get a uh, repeat in slow-mo of that because one minute it was in the plier and the next it was just gone. And even in the video, you didn't see that it just yeeted out. It went that fast. But anyway, I am decorating this little cake and I'm letting that all dry. Mm -hmm. 
After it dried completely, I am again taking my Fimo glaze and I'm just glazing uh, the, um, the decorations here on the cake and the backside, all the cream parts I am glazing to give it a little of shine so it looks a little more wet. Not down the sides of the cake, only on the top here. Um, and I'm doing that on both pieces leaving that to dry all the way up before I take off the cakes from this little stand. That's all there is for the video today. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!